Hey, another segment of After the Whistle, and this week I have Dwayne Haight with me, who was the referee of the Michigan-New Jersey game. And, and maybe, Dwayne, the most pressure-packed play that I had to make a decision on happened with 13 seconds in your game. Um, obviously, the game's on the line, and Michigan is driving downfield, and there's a pass that is ruled on the field that is complete. We're not only inside of two minutes, we're actually inside of 30 seconds or just outside of 30 seconds. And I'm looking at it and I can't tell whether the play is a catch or if it's incomplete. Again, ruled on the field is a catch. So I, I knew I had to stop it. I wasn't concerned about the yards, but I was concerned about the clock because right. if in fact it was incomplete then we would have ended up resetting the clock all the way back to 35 seconds. Now, as it turns out, there were 13 seconds left to go when we stopped the clock. And I think that's what we want to do, right? I mean, the, the nightmare is a running clock inside of a minute where you have to make a decision to stop the game. And so I have a nickname now because what is it? I yell if I want to look at something. Mayday. Mayday. I am called Mayday. That's that's my nickname now. So. I gave you a very late May Day, a very yes. late May Day. The ball was just about snapped, or maybe it had just started the snap, and you got the play shut down, which was absolutely terrific. And what was your thinking about what you thought might be going through my mind? So when that play occurred, of course, when I'm looking at the quarterback on that pass play, other than knowing that it was a catch, I have no idea how close it was to being an incomplete or a catch or a skip. So I'm not really aware of that situation. So when at that last second, when we get that mayday call, immediately my mind went something close happened. And it's so critical that for that time to get to, to tick off like that, for it to get shut down at the last minute, there's something time related. There's, there's something versus clock running versus clock stop. And clearly in this situation, it was such a close play. Uh, where that ball was very near the ground when it was caught. Uh, I think it was a great stoppage. But uh, yeah, as soon as it gets, we hear that word mayday, we immediately get in there, blow that whistle, shut it down, make sure no extra contact occurs unnecessarily. And then we get on that microphone and listen to what you had to say. And, and, and then I was just thinking, you know, when you get the biggest nightmare is at the real end of the game. Now there was 13 right. seconds, by the way, if I had to do it again, I think I would put 16 seconds up on the clock because actually three seconds, but I wasn't, I was so panicked anyways that um, I didn't even think about that. And and the call came late, the Mayday call came late. And as I maybe mentioned to you before, it kind of came late because I yelled Mayday earlier, but I forgot to push the button so you could hear me yell Mayday. But in reality, that play at the end of the game at the goal line, if yeah. it's one of those where it's ruled short, and it's questionable as whether it was in the end zone or not, and the clock is running, especially if a team doesn't have any timeout, you have to wait till the last second to make sure they could have gotten another snap off. And, and yeah. I say to you, I might say, and you know, referees, we have videos that go out to you that I'll make um, this week. I might have a new category that says Mayday at the snap, Mayday at the snap. And so that means wait till the very last second um, before you actually do shut it down. But you reacted like a champ. Um, and I appreciate so much that you came on the program today. It's great to have you. It's great to have you in the USFL. It was great watching you in the national championship game. And I think you speak well for our group of people that uh, we out we all have uh, out working um, this season. Thanks so much. Uh, thank you very much. I have a great crew and thank you for having me on. Hey, it's Shay Patterson. Thanks for watching this USFL video. For the best USFL fan experience, subscribe below and gain access to the best football content on planet Earth.